So you want the exclusive on how to create your own YouTube end card. Keep watching, let me show you. If you're new here and want to get actionable strategies like this one, consider subscribing to my channel. So in Canva, I've selected a presentation sized project. I've added my brand color as the background color. I'm going to elements and shapes and I'm selecting a circle. I'm sizing that circle down and that circle will house our channel avatar. I'm going to go back into elements and shapes. I'm sorry, I'm going into uploads now and grabbing this cell phone mock-up that I have. I honestly, for the life of me, cannot remember where I got this mock-up, but if I remember, I will add it in the description below. And now I'm just setting it where I'd like it to be placed and sizing it and all of that stuff. Go to text and add a heading and then I'm just saying something like watch this next on top of that cell phone because inside that cell phone screen is gonna be our next video um, thumbnail. I'm just resizing and placing the text where I'd like it. I'm super OCD, so boom. And then I wanna grab my logo and size it down so that I can place it at the bottom so that we have brand recognition. Okay, brand recognition. Now I'm moving back to the circle. I wanna just change it to a color that aligns with my brand a little more and then place it where I'd like it. Um, your avatar should cover this circle anyway, so um, it's not really that big of a deal, but OCD again. And then I just duplicated that watch this next text and changed it to say subscribe. I thought white would be a good color, but I decided against it. And then I just made it all caps. I'm adding an arrow for visual interest. Humans need direction, like give them direction. Show them the direction of the subscribe button. So now just rotate it and get it placed in a way that makes sense so that the tail end of the subscribe points to the circle so that they have no question about which way they need to point their arrow, clicker, mouse in order to subscribe to your channel. And then go up to the color selection. I have my palette for my brand colors. You can select any color, play with it, add some visual interest, and then download it as a PNG. It will come up as a PDF. Um, do not fall for that. Change it to a PNG image so that you can inload, upload, whatever. Load it into your editing software. And here it is in action. If you found this tutorial helpful, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button. Thanks!